Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Event risk leaves markets in corrective mode. Http ntv4x.com news ID 11 DC 4 C 724 2024 51 29 AM. Financial markets were dominated by the increase in U.S. initial jobless claims and Secretary Pompeo's beating of the anti China drum overnight. U.S. equities and energy both fell, although currency markets yet again, almost completely ignored it, with the U.S. dollar continuing to ease lower. Regarding the initial jobless claims, the 100,000 falls to 1.4 million new claims is a concerning one, primarily as the data had been stubbornly anchored at minus 1.3 million for the past few weeks. However, the continuing claims data actually improved somewhat and one week s data does not make a trend. With COVID-19 rampaging across the U.S., risks are increasing that the recovery could stall. However, the moves lower in equities and energy overnight looks more corrective in nature. Ahead of the weekend, and having rallied strongly this week, it probably didn't take much for investors with itchy trigger fingers to head for the exit door. Notably, tech led the move down, having outperformed this week. That said, the weekend is undoubtedly providing enough potential risk for investors to look to either reduce or hedge it. That should be positive for precious metals as we head into the end of the week. Progress has been slow on the next U.S. fiscal stimulus package. COVID-19 remains a massive concern in the U.S., and U.S.-China relations appear to be deteriorating at an exponential pace. Concerning the latter, markets appear to be increasingly immune to U.S.-China rhetoric. The underlying belief being that neither will tip into outright trade hostilities and jeopardize the nascent global recovery. Much of the U.S. noise may also be perceived as electioneering. The weekend headline risk is real though, and after some impressive moves higher across asset classes, some correction was overdue. The lack of progress by Washington, D.C. on the next fiscal stimulus package, the former effectively expiring today, has probably contributed to the U.S. dollar weakness, undermining its safe haven status. This afternoon, most attention will be on European and U.S. PMIS. All of them are expected to show continuing signs of improvement. We expect Europe to continue outperforming, riding the afterglow of the EU pandemic recovery package passed this week. The most significant risk to the overall bullish thesis would be an unimpressive set of PMI data from the U.S. After the weak jobless data overnight, that would likely add to the nervous gloom as the week concludes. Singapore's industrial production data will be PF passing interest to Asia on a quiet data day. Industrial production is likely to show a strong bounce for June as Singapore emerged from its circuit breaker lockdown. In the bigger picture, though, the data series is volatile at the best of times and will be of interest to the local market only. On Monday morning, China releases its June industrial profits YDD, where we are expecting an improving, but still negative number of 17.0% YOY, better than last month's 19.0% print. Asia's highlight next week will be China's Manufacturing and Services PMIS released on Friday. With Japan on holiday today, activity in Asia will be somewhat muted. We expect the correction lower in equities and the U.S. dollar to continue as risk is taken off the table ahead of the weekend. China equities take a hit on geopolitics. China equities are region's worst performers today, following the retreat by Wall Street overnight and rising concerns over the deterioration in U.S. and China relations. The Shanghai Composite, CSI 300 and Hang Seng are all 1.70% lower today. Wall Street's leading indices retreated overnight as a weaker jobless number was enough for traders to rush to book profits after a robust week of gains. The SAMP P500 fell 1.23%, the Nasdaq fell 2.30%, reflecting the scale of its increases this week, and the Dow Jones eased lower by 1.30%. Ex-China that theme is evident across Asian bourses, which are all lower today. Australia's trade-centric and resource-heavy ASX 200 and All Ordinaries are both down 0.90%.
The same story is repeating across Southeast Asia with Singapore, Jakarta and Kuala Lumpur all around 0.80% lower for the day. We expect the weakness to continue into Europe after last night's jobless claims warning shot an increasing weekend geopolitical risk from Washington DC and China. The US dollar rotation continues. Currency markets completely ignored the tremors in equities overnight, as the US dollar continued to give ground against major and Asian currencies. The US dollar index fell 0.18% to 94.78 easing another 0.14% to 94.65 in Asian trading this morning. The dollar index is testing support at its mid-March lows at these levels, and a weekly close here implies that more dollar weakness lies ahead next week. Forex markets US-China rhetoric herd immunity appears to be getting stronger by the day, as they accept the conflict as the new norm. With US yields easing again overnight, and the U.S. Congress making little progress on the next fiscal stimulus package, with the present one expiring today, the U.S. dollar's allure as a safe haven appears to be fading. Having signed off its pandemic recovery package this week, the euro seems to have grasped that mantle. Euro USD rose again overnight, climbing 0.25% to 1.1595. It is 0.15% higher still in Asia today at 1.1615. A weekly close above 1.1600 will be a bullish technical development, targeting an advance on 1.1800 in the coming week. The Australian dollar has also regained its mojo, rising through 0.7100 overnight and remaining steady at 0.7110 today. A weekly close at these levels implies a retest of 0.7200 by the lucky country dollar next week. The Chinese yuan though, continues to be buffeted by US-China geopolitics. Both the onshore and offshore yuan s weakened overnight. Unsurprisingly, the more easily traded offshore USDCNH bore the brunt of political nerves, rising from 7.0000 overnight to 7.0200 this morning. Onshore USDCNY, by contrast, has only increased to 7.0150 helped by its stronger PBOC fix at 6.9921. Both UNS remain vulnerable to further losses as the temperature of relations between the US and China continues to rise. Asian currencies are quiet today, consolidating recent gains, with activity muted by the Japan holiday. We expect the US dollar to continue weakening into the week's end, with the euro continuing to be the primary beneficiary. Profit taking on oil sets in on U.S. employment nerves. With oil's upward momentum stalling after both contracts broke monthly resistance this week, it wouldn't have taken a lot for investors to decide to book profits and reduce risk nervously. The U.S. initial jobless claims duly provided the excuse as both Brent crude and WTI retreated from their weak S highs. Brent crude fell 2.20% to $43.45 a barrel and WTI fell 2.10% to $41.05 a barrel. Buyers have emerged in Asia with both contracts creeping 10 cents higher in muted trade. The uptrend is intact as long as support at $42 a barrel for Brent crude, and $40 a barrel for WTI hold. A loss of these levels implies that a deeper correction will occur and that the breakout was false. Both contracts remain vulnerable to negative sentiment from equity markets spilling over to energy. With a light data calendar, US-China headlines will drive intraday price moves. My underlying bullish outlook remains intact though, viewing the overnight retreat as position trimming and not a turn in sentiment. Gold powers higher. Gold rose again overnight, even as some long-awaited profit taking in silver finally appeared. Gold rose to $1,898 an ounce in intraday trading, before fading. It still managed to record an impressive 0.85% gain, closing at $1,887.50 an ounce. With the US-China noise reaching deafening levels, gold has rediscovered its safe haven appeal ahead of the weekend. Lower US yields and a weaker US dollar are also supporting prices at these levels. A break of the overnight highs should set gold up for a rapid move to the all-time highs at $1,920 an ounce. 
we would expect some heavy two-way traffic ahead of that level, however, should it break, gold may finish the week scurrying higher. Gold has support at $1,865 and $1,840 an ounce. Only a loss of the latter calls the bullish outlook into question now. Gold is unchanged in Asia but should resume its advance once Europe arrives. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me. MT5.expert.advisors.